Thank you so much to Cook Unity for sponsoring today's video. Unbox your happiness. Cook Unity is the first chef to you meal delivery service made up of over 70 chefs who believe that great food should be for everyone. I feel my taste buds traveling through the world every time I dig into one of these globally inspired meals from vegetarian to paleo and everything in between. Meals are delivered fresh, never frozen, and the menu rotates every week so there's something new to try. You guys already know how much I absolutely love, love good food. <laughs> Just can't make it. So this is like the perfect setup for me and anyone who is also this way because can't cook but sure love to have the good food and this food is so good you guys. Cook Unity connects a diverse group of talented chefs that cook delicious innovative meals fresh every day in regional micro kitchens not warehouse production facilities. This subscription is also super flexible and you can pause, skip weeks, or cancel at any time you want. They offer a wide range of meals with over seven different dietary preference filters, including vegan, paleo, and gluten-free options. Honestly, out of the ones that we tried, I definitely think that the crispy tofu and broccoli and black bean sauce that was made by the chef Chase Evans in Austin, Texas, actually, that was our favorite. They were all super, super good, but that one, I'm not a sauce person. I know, I know. I'm just not, though, but I was for that one. It was so good. And if you would like to try them out, you can go to cookunity.com backslash Olivia50 or click the link in the description down below and use my code code Olivia50 to get 50% off your first order with Cook Unity and try the meals out for yourself. And if you do, definitely comment down below and let me know what you got because I need to try them all now, honestly. Thank you once again to Cook Unity for sponsoring today's video and let's get into it. Hello guys, welcome to a new weekly vlog. Almost said reading vlog. These haven't been weekly reading vlogs in a while. What am I doing? Okay, so I... I'm gonna do a haul for y'all, first order of business. Ginger's eating her food. Don't mind that, please. It is loud because she insists on, she won't eat out of a raised bowl. She will only eat off of these pink plates that we got from Ikea when we first moved out to our first house ever. And she won't eat off anything but that. And it has to be on top of a raised plate, like bowl thing, but the plate is on top of it. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. I wish I could explain this to you. I don't know. I'm finally breaking out my orange sweater that I got from Anthropology. I want to say in spring of last year or something like that. I don't remember, but I finally, finally am wearing it. I've just decided, y'all, first of all, it's fall break. So I have this week off and I'll be going back next week to do like small group stuff. Um, but this whole week I have off and I have realized going back to work has been so good for me because I don't doom scroll because I simply don't have time to doom scroll, which is fantastic. Um, but now I have time again and I need to force myself not to do that. So what we're gonna do is I have two video concepts I wanna film. One is booktubers control, hi Ginger, booktubers control what I read for the week. And I have three, two of which I bought the books because of them. So I'm going to read them in that video. Oh my God, Ginger. And then the other one, I actually messaged. I was like, hey girl, which one should I do? And I'm excited about all of the books on that. So I'll be filming that. But then also in tandem to this vlog, which is more behind the scenes of all of that good stuff. That one, which is a reading vlog. And then I'm gonna film a swapping my screen time for reading time because I spent way too much time on my phone yesterday. Like I'm talking 10 hours. I'm not happy about it. I don't know, I don't know. I both love and hate Instagram. <laughs> I like it a lot more recently. However, I don't like that Reels has essentially turned into what TikTok used to be for me. So I do like that because now it's like the fun version, not all like the stuff I don't like anymore about TikTok, but it also is a time suck now. Instagram Reels, Reels did not used to be that good at getting my attention and keeping it, and now it is. So that's super annoying. But nevertheless, I'm going to film that video so that I will actually have a reason to not be on my phone because that, 
girl. Um, but anyways, we have kind of a busy week. Not really, like I'm just gonna be doing a lot of stuff for this so I don't have to stress about it when work is back in session. Uh, I have my annual doctor's checkup, my normal doctor, just my regular, regular jugular doctor. Tomorrow, I'm gonna have to get all my blood work done. We're gonna check on my iron levels because yeah. And then what else? Oh, I have my glasses appointment on Thursday. I have Ginger's monthly appointment on Thursday morning as well. It's the vet and then this one, or my glasses appointment. And then, oh, next week I have a dermatology appointment. There's just a lot, <laughs> there's just a lot. So that is the plan there. Um, tomorrow I am going to most definitely go get some new fall releases. I think I'm gonna have a little bonus video go up this week, so it'll be an extra like fall shopping video, which I'm excited about. I'm gonna go to Barnes. I have a couple of releases I want. Two of them in f are fall. One of them is a winter Christmas rom-com release, and I'm very excited about all of them. I want all of them. The chances of my library having any of them is very little. That's exciting. That'll be hopefully up, honestly, before this video. I'm hoping that on Wednesday, I'll have my weekend vlog I just finished filming. Friday, I'll have the shopping vlog. And then Sunday, I'll have the October TBR jar video, which I'm actually about to go film. So you'll see this loop in there. And then I think that may be the plan so far. So... I'll update real fast about what I'm reading. So I did start Mile High in the weekend vlog that I was at. And listen, y'all, I gotta be honest. Chapter 20, I'm 154 pages in out of almost 500 pages. What? And that's only 33% into the book. What do you mean? <laughs> What do you mean? Uh, I feel like I've already read the entire romance. Like, I feel like I'm done. I feel like I'm over it. But there's, I'm sorry, 300 more pages left. Literally, like, there's actually more than 300 more pages left. And I'm getting to this point in my life where I'm like, I don't know if I should be this, I'm not necessarily bored, but I am not entertained. <laughs> like, I am just there. And I like the writing. I enjoy the characters. But do I enjoy them that much? Mm. I don't think I'm a hockey girl, sorry to say. In real life also, too cold. What's up with that? On purpose? No, no. I like baseball and I like tennis. Where's the tennis romance? Do you understand how much I'd be reading that? Oh my God, I'd be so into it. The only one I can kind of fake interest in is football when it's in there because I don't actually care about it. And y'all, can we be honest here? Real life football is incredibly boring. It is so stop and go. What are we talking about? What's happening? Tennis is the only, tennis is a superior sport. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. And then like actual football, like soccer, that one too. Although very dramatic, but kind of like it. It's like theatrical, but sports. Uh, then I'm also reading Powerless. This one I am five chapters in. I'm already more intrigued with my five chapters of this than I am the 20 chapters of this. This, I wanna know what happens. This, I already know what happens. I already know what happens. Um, pretty sure that her job being a flight attendant, so he's a hockey player, hey, by the way, and she is a flight attendant, and that's why they can't technically date, talk, engage further than the job. Um, they're definitely gonna do that, S spoiler. I'm just spitballing here. They have. And then, mm, uh, mm -hmm, hmm. his reputation is one that actually doesn't fit him. He's faking it. So obviously she's going to discover that he's really a softy. And then, I don't know. I don't like her mom. So that's probably going to be a problem later on down the road. Her dad will stand up for her. That'll be very slay. And then the book will be over. And I just have to ask myself, do I care? <laughs> I don't know that I do. The only author that really keeps me intrigued with books this long, Elsie Silver and Mariana Zapata. Anyone else? It's just not working for me. And by anyone else, I just mean this. This is the only other one I've tried. <laughs> but I actually do like the characters a lot. It's just, I don't know if it's 500 pages a lot, you know, like that's a lot. So I might be putting this down for now. 
and maybe we'll just spend the week on some fantasy romance and some fantasy in general. Maybe some thrillers, maybe some murder. I don't know, mayhem, maybe, mayhaps. Um, but I did get these two bookies in the mail. So Powerless is probably my, f I don't know. I actually don't know. I feel like Heartless, Powerless, and Reckless they're all there. They're all so good. Like they're just all so, this is a five star series. Um, did I skip the first book? Yeah, I did. Went ahead and did that for myself because I never liked the first book in a series. Um, case, meet point. So I think I really made a good decision for myself here. If I ever feel the need to go back and reread or read Flawless so that I have read them all, um, I'll do that. Will I feel that feeling? More than likely not. Um, and listen, if that's your favorite in the series, I love that. It's gotta be someone's. <laughs> but I really, really enjoyed these two. If anyone knows where I can get Flawless and Heartless, these covers, yeah, I'll buy them. I want them for my little romance shelves. I'm gonna do a romance shelf purge, I think, um, and just get rid of a bunch of the ones that I am probably not gonna read anymore. I think I've kind of honed in on my romance interests and like the tropes and the plot lines that I like, and it's not, as much the rom-coms as I thought. So, I have a lot of those, must get rid. Now, I do have two fairy loot boxes. So the first one is the September Young Adult. Both of these are books that I don't know anything about. So, let me know if you do. Um, I do like this cover. If I have to be haunted, I do think this is a pretty cover. And I think that these edges are very nice as well. And then that's on the underside of the book. And I like it. I do like the art style. I like all of it. I think that this girl like finds the body of the popular kid recently passed. And then his little ghost comes back or something like that. I don't know. It kind of sounds like a CW show, which is my, yeah, that's what I like. And then this is the adult box one so let's open that right quick and then i think that that's it i just wanted to get this because i need to clean part of the kitchen so that'll be what i do next um but this cover she's beautiful son of blood and ruin i don't know what the original cover looked like but i do like this one it's minimalist but also kind of has some extra details that are very pretty and i like a lot i love foiling that's gonna be like something i will always love and honestly just the vibes based on this edition make me interested in picking it up because i think fairy loot does a really good job at um kind of giving you an aesthetic and vibe of the book via their special edition features, if that makes sense. So I am excited about that. Looks interesting. I'm gonna put it on my little shelf of recently got books. I was thinking about doing a book haul, but I'm gonna be honest, I kinda don't like book hauls anymore. I like book shopping videos. Book shopping videos are my new book haul. Like I don't want, I used to watch book hauls a lot, but I don't even watch them anymore. And I tend not to create videos that like I wouldn't watch. I don't know why, I just don't. Yeah, so that's what I'm thinking there. But now I'm gonna go change my camera battery because it's about to die and then film my little October TBR jar. We're gonna see what that is because if you watched the weekend vlog, you know that I got just about every book in the library that it has to offer and it's currently on my to be read shelf in my bedroom. So <laughs> I'm gonna try to fit all those books onto the TBR. We're gonna see how that goes. It's who knows? Well, I came out to check on her, and I found her. You ready for some food, lady? Okay, you get yourself out of there, and I'll go get your lettuce. She's so cute. She's like, oh, it's so much cooler now. I'm glad I stayed down for a week. Pack our bags and get in that car.
drugs and get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in Literally my favorite kind of 4 p.m. sky. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, I love this lady. Look at that. <laughs> She's like, I had my dinner. I'm going back down. See you guys in the morning. Peace and love. Hi guys, wow, good morning. Um, you never put on an outfit and you're like, is this cute or am I delusional? <laughs> but this, I'm obsessed with this sweater, let me tell you. And I'm going to the doctor, so that's why we're gonna wear warm clothes, because I'm going to the doctor's office. Um, I decided I'm not going to get my blood drawn this morning because I, <laughs> really don't like driving in the morning unless I have eaten something and had like a moment to chill and da -da 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 because of all of my health stuff. The best way to kind of make sure nothing really bad happens is to, oh, I don't know guys, take care of yourself, <laughs> crazy. Been trying that out, eating like a bigger breakfast because I don't know about y'all, <laughs> but I was raised on like I feel skinny in the morning, so don't like eat breakfast. That's like not what we do, you know? So I'm used to like, oh, I don't eat breakfast. I don't really want breakfast. Girl, I guess I do. I always want breakfast. There's never a time I don't want breakfast. I actually want breakfast at breakfast, lunch, a snack, and dinner. I want breakfast food. It's actually all the time. Um, it's been a lie. <laughs> it's been a lie. Um, and I think like a lot of that is attributed to like just... I don't know. People I've seen, like as a kid that didn't really eat breakfast, where they'd like have a banana. And I'm like, yeah, that'll get me the day too. <laughs> or just like, you, you see it in movies and TV shows, like they just drink coffee and they're like, this is my breakfast. Don't talk to me before I've had my morning coffee. <laughs> Brittany Broski saying that all the time like her <laughs> She's gonna actually turn into a millennial. She's not careful. She's doing it a little too well uh, But anywho not talking about society any longer I decided that I'm going to have breakfast and I really want a it's the beyond meat sandwich at Starbucks, but I'm gonna ask for I might get no cheese and I might get no egg too, which is just then like a hamburger, basically. But um, honestly, kind of sounds good. And I want to get a pumpkin coffee, but I don't want to have a panic attack. And let me tell you guys, I made a coffee yesterday. Maybe the coffee made me. I don't know because I ascended to another realm. I have not had coffee in a while because I, again, <laughs> I don't know if y'all know this, but I have health anxiety. And I was like, okay, Olivia, we're bringing it back to, oh God, when did we do those experiments? I mean, honestly, all throughout um, high school and then when I thought I was gonna go to nursing school, L-O-L, -L, I was like, let's make it in a little experiment. Let's remove all the variables, okay? Uh, controlled group, it's me. So I just took out everything that could be making me anxious and then I like, Started eating breakfast in the morning again. Started feeling better. I only drink decaf coffee 
I was okay. I only had um, a shaken espresso half calf or two thirds caffeinated, one of those, uh, just kind of depending on what I felt like for that day felt fine. I made an espresso pod yesterday. And when I tell you, it genuinely felt like God himself reached down, plucked me from the crowd and just, it wasn't good. It wasn't good. Um, I want that to never happen again. It was the weirdest thing ever. Actually, what it reminds me of is this is going to be such a chatty week. How are y'all? This is why I don't do like my makeup. Well, I don't do makeup anymore because I got my lashes done so that I don't have to wear makeup because I hate wearing makeup, but I'm so like, I just talk so much when I'm doing my hair. Why? For what reason? Anyways, I have more to say. Uh, actually, just forgot what I was gonna say. That's pretty cool. Anyways, so I'm going to the doctor. We're gonna do doctor things. I'm gonna be healthy as I should. And yeah, I'm then going to go to Barnes and Noble and I am going to, oh Lord, what am I trying to say? I don't remember the books I wanna get off the top of my head. I know the covers though, so helpful. So hopefully I can find them because if not, I will not be able to tell the people what they are to help me find them. Uh, and then I'm thinking, so there's a Barnes that's close to my doctor, but that's also close to, I don't know, places I don't want to really be uh, because I don't really like that Barnes and Noble. It's not my favorite, gotta be honest with ya. It's attached to like a mall. I just, I'm, I don't like Barnes and Nobles on a mall. I just don't. And have y'all noticed, if it's on the mall, there's always a Cheesecake Factory. Mm, you can bet your bottom dollar there's gonna be a Cheesecake Factory to that left. Well, I guess the anatomical, right? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I am doing that today. That's kind of it. Now, yesterday, I did start reading The Housemaid. Is that what it's called? I think so. And it, it's, it's good. Hello, it's great. I'm having a great time. I love this writing style. It is so easy to fly through. And then more than that, it is, I don't know. It's just like the chapters are short. The writing is easy to read. It's not, I don't know. I, like, I'm not trying to say that this is the most show-stopping original content <laughs> I've ever consumed in my life. I think it's exactly what I need right now. There's that. Uh, I was debating which barns I want to go to because I'm trying to remember where an Abercrombie is because y'all, I love Abercrombie now. I don't know what happened between middle school and now, but I think it's just the fact that they made jeans for people like me, just midsize, I guess. I've also discovered that I'm midsize, so that's cool. And wholly unhelpful because sizing still doesn't make much sense <laughs> but whatever um so this little jacket is abercrombie this shirt is an abercrombie like just basics and it's a long sleeve as you can see and i've been loving this duo specifically when i'm at work because i listen y'all i don't know how to tell you all this i just love to be comfortable <laughs> Very, very few times will I be uncomfortable. I can only think of one time. Like my sister's wedding coming up, I will wear a dress and heels for that. But other than that, I hate being uncomfortable. <laughs> because I just think the best clothes are comfy clothes. I don't know, y'all. And then I have these jeans on that are high-waisted. But here's the thing. If I can't find the jeans in short, I'm still going to buy them. I'm just going to buy them in regular. And I shouldn't. I shouldn't. Because then, and you would think, I thought, oh, that's fine because short, regular, long only applies to length. When I tell you my short high rise is like cute. It's like what it's supposed to look like. My regular high rise, clavicle. It's hanging out at my clavicle. So these are the regular and they're, I feel like they're pretty high, but I also feel like they're comfortable. I like them this height. And so, yeah. There's that, and then I have shoes that I either got from Amazon, but not really sure. Can't remember. Um, I want to buy some clothes, I'm not going to lie to you, but I don't really need to buy some clothes. I really don't. But there's something about teaching that makes me want to buy so many clothes, because I'm like, oh my god. But like, I can imagine, I'm like, oh, yes, problem number six. So you're going to solve X by finding Y. I'm not in any math classes, by the way. Um, shouldn't be. Should not be. Oh gosh. So if you ever want a finishing hairspray, let me tell you, my hairstylist, she's the best. 
Um, oh, you have one? Doesn't matter. Mine's better. I love her so much. She recommended this. First of all, this is the hair shampoo and condition brand that both my partner and I now use because, ow, hello. Um, why am I talking to myself in the mirror? Weird. It's great. I just love it a lot. So we're both using it now and it's, it's just, listen, I don't know what to tell you. It's great. I would highly recommend it. Uh, kind of expensive. Uh, when I, <laughs> I bought them from her and I was like, oh, oh, well maybe it's, you know, cause she's gotta, she's gotta make a profit from it. So maybe it's that. Went online to his website. Nope. <laughs> just expensive. Uh, but I've never really bought professional shampoo before. Um, and you could tell. Not by my hair. Apparently my hair was like oddly healthy considering I did nothing to take care of it. That's about right. Okay, hi guys. How are you doing? I just filmed my little intro for the Barnes and Noble trip because I did not, now I feel very valid in going to Barnes after, because this is just a doctor's appointment, like an annual. And it's just to like, I don't know, see if my body still it is. But I feel like I was ambushed. I feel as though I've been bamboozled because now my left arm is all kind of hurting because I got my flu shot. I know, round of applause for the 28 year old child who got a flu shot and feels like I deserve a little treat afterwards. But I do and I am going to go get one. So the first order of business as always is Starbucks. I was just telling the other video, which now you've seen, that I <laughs> am calling this meal prepping. I'm getting a matcha because first of all, iced matcha is superior I'm um, glad we got that out of the way. And then I'm also gonna get a little turkey bacon cheddar and egg white sandwich, but no turkey because bleh. And then I'm gonna get a pumpkin decaf Americano for later when I need a little pick me up when my arm starts to genuinely hurt. It's already hurting. Um, I'm very sensitive to shots. We're also testing if I'm anemic, so that's fun. Tune in next week, we'll find out. But for now, we are gonna go on a journey and I'll see you guys at home. I did read a little bit in here, We'll talk later, okay? How about that? Okay, the books have been retrieved. <laughs> when I just have this camera, like with no tripod or anything, I just feel, mm, I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna go home now and we're gonna get back to my five hours of reading for the day. And that's it, that's the update y'all. That's the update. Hello, good morning, happy Wednesday. Y'all are resting on top of a book that has my wallet on top of it, and then y'all. So, listen, I'm inventive, I'm an inventor. I made the silly goofy little mistake of thinking, oh, I'll just go back to sleep for like 10 minutes. This morning I got up, I had a little decaf coffee in bed with a croissant hung out with Jake. It was honestly so nice. It was so nice. The real reason was I was trying to get up early enough to say bye to my partner because every morning that I go to work, they always walk me out to the car and it's so nice. But I missed him by like 10 minutes and I was like, wow, I tried. We'll try again tomorrow. Uh, so I will <laughs> try again tomorrow. But today was a fail and I woke up again at like, 9 30 10 which never happens for me so that's telling me that my body is telling me i need the rest which now i think i'm gonna really take that and i'm gonna i'm gonna go with it because tomorrow i have ginger's appointment at 9 30 for her monthly shot because she is 18 years old and she's got arthritic issues so there's this shot I never remember the name I'll look at it on the receipt tomorrow and I'll recall it but it is uh, that she uh, always gets help with that because it helps her joints and just feel better and all that good stuff plus her heating pad so those are my tips if you've got an older animal I've also seen Jake starting to lay his elbows and like for like what a, what would be his forearm onto the heating pad on the bed that ginger usually uses like if she's not there he'll use it so I'm gonna look into what I can do for a dog because I just don't know because he's like 85 pounds so that's like a really big heating pad but hey 
if I have to get a heating blanket, guess what we're doing? So, anywho, after that I have my glasses appointment. And I'm not excited. I hate going to the eye doctor, mainly just because I hate that puff of air that's in your eyes. But I'm always like, if I don't get it, that'll be the time that I should have gotten it. So I always get it. I always do. Um, but I don't want to buy new glasses from them. I just want to get these re or I want to keep these frames, get them relensed. So we'll see about that. There is a Warby Parker, not really near, but around that I could drive to if I wanted to get some new ones. And I kind of, I kind of do because I have my sunglasses in that cute little thing that's on this. But, um, let me freaking tell y'all. They're so warped and ugly now because it's in the sun. So, I, they're still prescription wise. So, if I have to use them, like if I'm having a migraine and it's super bright outside, they'll work. They just look like this now, <laughs> which is kind of funny. Reading update. I finished The Housemaid last night, so that is great. I will be talking about that more in the actual vloggy vlog with it. And I downloaded this book, uh, Gal Pals. Not, not just Gal Pals, which I think is funny. I love this title. It makes me giggle because it's kind of like, girl what? But also like, girl yes. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I just love it. I just love it. I love it. I love the cover. I love the two cute little couple on it. I love the vibes. So I have it on my Kindle. I'm going to read that I think um, if I want like a cute little Kindle read because I can't really figure out what else I want to read on my Kindle. Usually my Kindle's reserved for romances because it's just something nice to read before bed and or easy to read on the go because it doesn't take me as long to get in and out of the world. And then thrillers, if I'm already reading the thriller physically and I realize I mm, kind of want to read this on my Kindle. So I do. And that's all thanks to my library so that is that there i do want to get home and start some more of powerless i feel like i'm doing this thing that i tend to do with books i think i'm gonna like where i continue to procrastinate them and that needs to cease here i'm done so first up though we are headed out to target I don't know if I've been to this one before, but I'm picking up an order and we'll do a little haul. I bought my partner a surprise mug. And then of course I started browsing and I bought myself one too. I always do that. I always buy mugs and stuff in twos. I don't know why. I mean, it's usually because I'm always like, if I get myself one, I always find one that they would want and then vice versa. Cause I always want a mug. That's one thing. I always want a mug. So I'm really excited about that. And then some candles, because I have a candle from them that I really love, the pumpkin brulee. So I bought a few of those. Hopefully they were all in stock. I put in, I think, for like four, because they are 10 bucks a piece. They are like half of what Bath & Body is, but they smell so good so good like they're my favorite to put in a big room because the whole room will smell like it um versus you know when you put candles in a big room sometimes the big room engulfs the smell but other than that i'm really feeling a caesar salad i really want to go pick one up and i really want a matcha so i'm just gonna make these rooms happen for myself i think i think i'm just gonna do that because yeah i was just thinking right now and nothing came to mind as to why so I'm gonna do it and that's the plan that is the plan Stan so let's get started let's get going engage my seat can I get any higher no I always wish I could but I can get real close oh that's too close <laughs> I actually don't think I need to be as close as I put myself I think I just like it because I like to. I'm not chill. I don't like to chill. Hello. Hello. We are home now and I'm excited about it. So I did get. A little matcha because it just sounded so good and the Panera was right next to a Starbucks and yeah these little apple croissant things 
are a problem for me. And the main problem is they're not in, like all year round. I want perennial <laughs> apple croissants, but I just got my Caesar and my Mac. Who cares? No one cares. Let's get to the Target haul, okay? I'm just gonna talk like this the whole time. Only half my face. Just kidding. Um, so, I only really need to show you one of these because it's the same candle. Ah, uh, it is this one. The Pumpkin Brulee. It is so good. Very sweet. Highly recommend. And then I got two spooky little mugs. Uh, one for my partner and then one for myself. Oh my God, are you kidding? Even the little brand name, Hide and Eek. <sighs> Maybe I should go back and get my PhD in Gothic literature. <laughs> Every time I see anything relating to that, I'm like, what if I did though? Literally just got a full-time job at a school. But what if I added to that? So I got them this cute little cauldron because I just thought it was adorable. And they always joke about wanting to be a witch. So boom, got him. And then also I got this one for me, which I just, it's a very simple mug, but I think it's adorable. So that's that tiny little hole. Now I'm gonna go eat and put these candles away. And that's the plan, okay? And then I am also going to be setting up this little journal. So I decided that I'm gonna make my own version of a book review reading journal thing. And I've just realized when I have like anything bigger than this, first of all, she's cute. Um, but when I have anything bigger than this, I just don't use it like at all. So you can see I attempted it last year. 2022 these were all the releases that i really loved then and i don't know what that is we're gonna get rid of that because i don't need that but yeah i'm just gonna turn this into like each page maybe even half a page depending on the book and how much i really have to say i'm gonna put it in there so i'm gonna make a 2023 bookshelf section and then also a 2023 uh page like this so at the end of the year, I'll print out all of these and put them on there, but the rest will just be like little reviews of the book. And I'm excited. And this is where I got this. If you are wanting to find it, just buy the buy. But yeah, I think it's so cute. It's so stinking cute. Look at that. Okay, hi guys. Um, you can probably hear the ASMR pumpkin fireplace in the background. Let me just turn it down a little bit, but I'm not turning it off because I love it. So I wanted to come here because I just updated the screen time vlog, but I finished Good Bad Girl by Alice Feeney, which is due on Friday. So perfect that I did that because um, I also got a text from my library that I have a hold ready. I think it's this, these vicious games or their vicious games. You know what I could do? I could look at the text. They're vicious games. So that's a new uh, YA thriller thing. So I'm going to go pick that up tomorrow and I will probably, or am I going to do it tomorrow? I have a lot that I'm doing tomorrow for me. I hate doctor's appointments, but I go to them so much because <laughs> I am ill. But um, I don't know. I don't know if I'll get it then or if I'll get it on Friday as like a little treat after I go be a brave, brave, brave person for getting my blood drawn again uh but this book hmm here's the thing did i have any clue where this was going at any time no not really but i didn't love the themes of this one i don't care for thrillers that get a little too i don't know heavy on the emotional thematic elements like i just don't care like i'm here for the murder and the mayhem you know so it kind of was like a miss for me on that point because i definitely think this is like an ode to mommy issues and generational trauma and fixing things at the end of life and all that kind of thing and while I am definitely a big believer that like people can change people can definitely go from like people are not wholly good and people are not wholly bad thinking of them in such a black and white way is ridiculous behaviors can be that way but even then not really because there's reasoning and rationale and whatever so it's all gray everything's gray 
It's millennial gray, um, agreeable gray <laughs> is life. I already know that, but like I want the drama in my books, you know? Like I don't really wanna think when I'm reading. I do, I wanna scheme and I wanna plot because I wanna be in the mind of the murderer. But I don't really want to like go to therapy with the book. Not looking for it. Entertaining, fun, fast read. But have I already kind of forgotten what it's about? Yeah, actually, I think, yeah, so, it's the this one is where there is a baby that goes missing this will reopen up 20 years earlier 20 years previously a baby is snatched from a stroller and then we pan to the current time there is two crimes committed they are combined and somehow connected to the one from 20 years prior as well how is it this way da -da -da -da. listen do i think that the way that this was done was clever yeah alice feeney's clever I just don't think this was, was, it was not her most interesting. Rock, paper, scissors was so good because it literally scared me, y'all. I was, I was scared. And then what else? Daisy Darker, I liked that one. That one was really good. Daisy Darker, rock, paper, scissors. I haven't read his and hers or like the other ones. So maybe I should try his and hers next. I think it was good, but it is not as good as the others. I'll be honest. But if you happen to like get it from your library or you already bought it and you've kind of like signed that deal, just, you know, it's not, it's not like it's not worth the time. It's a very fast read, but it just is not one that I think I would like recommend. And I probably will not think about it again until I film my wrap up for the month. And then I'm scrambling to try to remember what happened in this book. I think that's the reality. And some books are just like that. I just don't think that this twist was like the epitome of how good Alice Feeney can do a twist. I just don't think that's the case. But now I'm moving on to, well, we're gonna eat dinner and I'm gonna scroll a little bit on the Instagram reels for just like a brain break. And then I'm either gonna start this rom-com, which I don't know if I'm fully in the mood for that, or this, continue on with it, which I'm also not fully in the mood for, but I am because my anxiety is starting to spike because it's just that time of the month. It's the first week of the month. It's always like this. I'm always surprised. I am the shocked Pikachu meme every single time this happens as if it's not a monthly occurring thing. Like it's not a subscription service that my body has signed up for. I'm always like, <gasps> again? Oh yes, and next time too, like what? So I think I do need a fantasy to get like lost in, but I, I don't know. I'm judging Powerless a little too harshly, I think, because I'm like, you're not gripping within the first 30 pages. Why would it be? You know what else is not gripping in the first 30 pages? Thorn and Glass, and that's your favorite series, so shut up. No, I don't know if that's a pep talk or a reality talk for myself, but it's something. Okay, I think I might be starring in Ratatouille because I've never made anything but scrambled eggs in my life, but these look beautiful. Look at that. Oh my God. Hello guys, happy Thursday. I'm now home from, God, all the things. Took Ginger to the vet, dropped off some library loans, went to get my glasses, the whole thing. So expensive glasses. I got the eye exam and then two pairs and then I think I'm gonna try to get my other sets re-lensed. I don't know, I didn't even look at my hair this morning. It looks, 
a mess. So sorry that you have to see this, but I'm gonna do nothing to change it. And then I went back to the library to pick up a hold that came in, their Vicious Games. This is a YA thriller. And I was just saying in my other screen time vlog, I'm debating between a cute little rom-com and this. I'm honestly not feeling fantasy right now. I think I just need to be okay with that. Although I did read some more of Powerless last night and I got to 50 pages in and I started to annotate it. That made a difference. Annotating was fun. These are the things that I'm annotating for, by the by. Uh, these are kind of the typical things that I annotate for. I know I get questions of like, how do you know what you want to annotate for if you haven't read the book yet? Which, that makes sense. Um, but I predominantly annotate fantasy, and it's always for quotes and scenes that I like. So that'll all, I will always like at least one thing. And then writing style, I really like to mark down writing style. Reading Stephanie Garber's Caraval made me want to annotate for writing style that I like. Banter, duh. World building, magic system, political, that's all one. And then I have a tab that I'm literally screeching right now. And that can be a bad screech or a good screech. It just depends on the vibes of the scene. This one, I may just become one with the fact that we're gonna put her on hold. Love her the most. But I love YA fantasy or YA thrillers more <laughs> right now. Uh, give it a week, I'll have a different opinion. That's how that works. Um, but I got a Waterstones package, which is exciting. I love these. And this is the new Rick Riordan book. Ooh, it's signed. What do you think about that? Hi, Gingy. This is Percy Jackson and the Olympians, The Chalice of the Gods. It's a beautiful copy. It's a beautiful book. And then it's got these beautiful edges as well. And why are both of my children deciding now to start screaming? Couldn't tell you. Could not tell you. Um, I am gonna have to, re yeah, ginger girl. I have to read the entire series of Percy Jackson before I can read that, obviously. Actually, I'm gonna read all of the books that he's written with Percy Jackson involved or What's the other one? The Heroes of Olympus. I'm gonna read all of those and then I will get into this because I wanna be caught up on everything. And then I'm probably gonna start branching off into like the Roy Rorden, um, not universe. What is it? Roy Rorden verse, let's just call it that. Who cares? Who cares? I did think about going to see Exorcist today by myself. I know, girl. Um, but I decided I didn't wanna be scared. So I'm not doing that. Right now, I might do that tomorrow. I don't really know yet. But I'm gonna go, I need to, like a little baby. Um, I need to organize all of my clips for the weekly vlog, for my screen time vlog, and then wrap up the housemaid portion of the other vlog that I was doing. And then I'm gonna just hang out and read. I think I wanna start their vicious games because I really am in the mood for a YA thriller and it's rainy and spooky outside. We can light a candle that I got from Target. It could just be a good time all around. And I think that's what we're gonna do. So Ginger, are you ready, girl? Oh, y'all wish you were as cute as my daughter. You wish, you wish. And what she wishes is that I would feed her. So I'm gonna go do that now, bye. Hello guys, so we are having a very nude based day. I feel like Chandler would be very proud of me, but I have my headphones. I wanted to update you on what I'm reading because I am obsessed. Genuinely, if you are looking for a good YA thriller slash scary movie in a book book for this October, I need you to go pick up their vicious games right now. If you have seen the movie Ready or Not, that it's exactly the vibes that I'm getting from this. It is so, so, so good. Like I talk about it in the screen time vlog because I was like, where, where am I gonna talk about this? <laughs> Obviously in the weekly vlog. I just had to get it out and I was updating in that clip already. But this is about our main character named Adina Walker and she has been attending the prestigious, very, it's full of very, 
what is that what is that word affluent i think uh people just they're rich y'all and they're like rich rich not like elon musk rich like they actually have money they don't just talk about it and there's a lot going on already. I'm only 116 pages in and there's a lot going on already. She goes there and she gets into a situation that essentially ends in her losing her acceptance to Yale, which is like her top school. It's where she's been working so hard to go. And so she's doing anything she can to get that back and what she can do to get that back is join in on this thing called, I think it's the finish. Yes. It's called The Finish, and essentially there is this family that founded the academy she goes to, and well, she just graduated, so this starts after she graduates, so it's like the summer in between graduation and then beginning college, so it is upper YA, I would say. Not too much. I think 15, 16 up could read this probably and be fine. Maybe 16 up. There was one word used that I was like, but if you're British or Australian, you won't care about that. I just had not seen that in a book. And I was like, ooh, <laughs> there it is. <laughs> but I also listen to Trixie and Katya. So like, it's not a word that I don't hear a lot, you know? Anywho, this thing called The Finish is hosted by the family that founded this to elevate women, women in STEM. No, just women in general in the education system. And what happens is basically if you win, your life is funded forever by this family. So that's great. Uh, so she wants to win that so that she can get back into Yale and, you know, do what she was doing already before this little tussle broke out. So I'm really, really enjoying it. I'm also loving how much this like bookmark is matching, like perfectly matching this. Mm. But the way that the characters are written, there is something about YA thrillers slash horror mystery, that genre. I think this would be a thriller, but it's like, I don't know if it'd be a thriller though, because there was a plot twist that we already found out, but it's just, I don't know. It just, it's like a book scary movie is what I'm going to call that. <laughs> not a genre, not even really, honestly, only one of those is an adjective. I can't use a noun to describe a noun, but I'm going to do it. It's a, it's a scary movie book. I read these characters. I, I can see them playing out on screen. It's so good, you guys. It's so good. And so I'm also spending the afternoon. Um, first of all, can I give a shout out? to this matching set. I have the pants and then this. This is like a cropped one and it has, it's like really, really soft on the inside. This is from Abercrombie, y'all. I went from like never owning anything Abercrombie, like in middle school and high school to like my entire wardrobe almost being that because they're just amazing. Like I really love them. They're so comfortable. I wanna get another one of these in gray. I've been really liking gray, but I'm spending the day catching up on Miss Sunny's vlogtober as well drinking my water doing that i did also start not just gal pals last night on my kindle and i think it's really cute too i'm really liking it uh we, our main character lives in la she's an influencer she has a little drama happen so she goes back home for a little bit till things die down and there is a high school crush that she's now gonna work with to plan her best, well, their mutual best friend's wedding. What was that called? Bachelorette thing? That thing. So it's just cute. It's like a little Hallmark movie, but fall, and I like it. So that's like what I'm reading right before bed, except now you can pry this from my cold dead hands because I, okay. I love to do this thing where I guess just the most outrageous plot points and plot twists. And I did that with this and then something worse happened. <laughs> And I was like, pardon? So yeah, I, uh, I'm i a little late to the game of starting my five hours of reading, but it is Friday, which is the day that my partner always gets on with a friend to play their video game that they play. So I'm going to do my little screen time thing starting now and probably, honestly, I'll probably finish this today. I'm just really liking it. It's just so good. It is just so good, you guys. So. Yeah, that's the plan, and I will talk to you a little later. I'm gonna do my nails while I watch Miss Sunny. I will link her down below. Y'all need, you need her in your life. Hello, guys. It is Saturday. I don't think I've checked in with you today. How are you? 
I got my lashes filled this morning and I actually decided to film a productive day with me kind of video. So that's what I've been doing all day. And if you can see, my desk is no longer back there. In fact, there's a new shelf here because, spin with me, spin with me, spin with me. I have my desk behind me here and my walking pad is resting there instead of being a shelf there so yeah if you care about watching bookshelf organization and like organizing an office slash library slash bookworm thing um that'll be in the productive day vlog later up this month but i just really felt like doing it and i have another day later this week where i'm gonna do a few errands so i'll probably add those into it and it'll just be one of those vlogs, I love watching productive day vlogs because they always make me want to be productive. So I was like, okay, but why don't I film one? So I did, obviously. And I just got done eating dinner, which was pancakes and hash browns. And I think I'm going to go make a decaf shake and espresso uh, to watch the new Amy's Crypt video and listen. There hasn't really been a whole lot of coffee b-roll in this vlog. I just did all the rough cut edits earlier today. And I'm so tired of looking at them. But I don't think that there was really any coffee b-roll. So I think we need, I think we need it. I think, I think we gotta, I think we gotta go. I think we gotta do it. So let's go do that. Um, shout out to my partner for setting up the dual monitor display. I think it looks so good. And I think this little light is so cozy. I always keep an ambiance room over here, and then the main focus right here, which is Amy's Crypt. But let's go clean up the dishes, make a coffee, and then we'll be back. Good morning guys, um, happy Sunday. I stayed up way too late yesterday and I ended up finishing their Vicious Games and I gave this a full-fledged five stars. This was so good. If you like rich people drama, honestly, if the Inheritance Games was like a thriller a little bit and like, <laughs> A dark version of The Bachelor. Here we are. Here we are. We've arrived. Go pick this up. The writing was so good. I really, really, really liked the writing style. I just thought it was so like readable, but also I feel like when writing style is very easy to read, very easy to binge read very fast, it tends to like lack something. So maybe it doesn't get as descriptive or there's not as much being said. You know, not literally, but within the actual words. It's just not whole meaning a whole lot. It's a little superficial. Not the case here. Not the case at all. Not the case at all. And I loved the way that our author took us on the exact same journey as a narrator. When she started to question and doubt things or realize like, oh, maybe I misjudged this person. I was feeling the same way. And then we were both bamboozled when we found out. Nope. Instinct. Trust your gut. Trust your gut. So I really, really highly recommend this. This was so, so good. And now I am kind of torn because I kind of want to start Things We Never Got Over Again. And this is the beginning of a new trilogy, which was one of the prompts that I got. So this would actually be fulfilling that prompt from the jar. But I'm also kind of looking at Archer's voice for the little vloggy vlog that I'm doing and I feel like I'm gonna go with Archer's voice because it is for that vlog and I really need to get a move on that because I have two more books to read for that. One of them is really short and I already love that author so I know that I'll get through that but this one I don't know anything about this author. I don't know anything about this book. I just bought it because of that booktuber so we're gonna see if I should continue doing that and making those decisions or not. The answer is probably not, but maybe the book will be good. And then I think I'm gonna, I have this and the second one just on my shelf, right next to each other, just in case I decide to pick it up 
uh, anytime soon, which I do want to. Maybe November. Isn't November when everyone reads like really big books? What is that called? I don't remember what that is, but maybe that's what I need to do. I need to do that in November because that went so well in September. <laughs> um, but for now, I'm going to go to Starbucks with my partner. We are on a half-calf Americano kick right now. Couldn't tell you. And then I'm going to make a croissant some eggs here. Maybe a yogurt too, actually. That kind of sounds good. And just have like a, a little brunch at home, I guess. And then I'm going to do some reading. And that's kind of the plan for today. That's kind of it. But I really like how I rearranged this. This makes me want to hang out in this room a lot more, which was the goal. I don't know why. This room is literally all of my books. It's all of my stuff. It's all of my fun things. Like, it's everything I love. But I just didn't want to come in here. And I think it genuinely was just, like, the setup was not good. I didn't like it. But I really like having my computer against this window. Um, because I can open the window and have, like, light coming in. And I can, you know, see grass and things. And that's real nice. Or I can close it and I can be in a cave, like a little goblin. So that's also real nice. I just like it. Um, the only thing is, when I want to film, I can't anymore film by this window because obviously this computer is blo blocking all that light. With how much my partner had to do to get this second monitor to even register on my Mac, uh, it's not worth it unplugging it. So, we will only be filming on one side of the room from now on, or I actually can film in front of my romance shelves now because they're just right right there right there they look so cute they look so cute but okay let us go and obtain the caffeine and make the food and read the books hear the birds and see the sun side by side our fears are done all the good times just begun Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future